guys, it's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture again in sunny Sydney and geez, it's been sunny today. So it's Wednesday evening now. I'm getting a head start on tomorrow's job, which is the last piece of the white. And it's this TV unit. Okay, let's get a close up look on this girl. Right, so we've got a little bit of damage on the top, and this was the same on the console table. Um, hang on. Yeah, it's just chipping. It's, it is solid wood. If I look at the back, you can see that it's, that's the end piece. It's all solid, and I know that it's the same build as the um, console table, so we're all good. So. I'm hoping this sands off as easily as the console table did. That would be nice. Um, see, those hinges are different to any others. Okay, so that's it, Bailey. Check it out. So I'll get a photo of those so that I know how they sit. But they'll, I'll take those doors off. I won't paint inside. I'll scuff sand all this paint those areas. Hang on, I'm just going to stop this. Sorry, Grey was just uh, doing the lawn right here. Um, okay, looks like that's lifted there or something. It's split, but it is what it is. It's not really... I might feel that actually. Yeah, I will. I'll feel that because I'm going to be painting it anyway, so that'll just give me a better finish. It looks like there's maybe two pieces of wood there and the bottom the top one has split and come off. So I'll just fill that. I'll do that tonight. Um, so I'm ready for tomorrow. It's everyday country piece. Right, so the doors are gonna come off. Draw pull, um, uh, we're reusing these, same as we did on the console table. So that's all good. There's plenty of space, it seems, around the doors, so I'm not going to worry too much. I might sand this a little bit, because that's a little bit snug. But everywhere else seems quite good, so I'll, I'll just sand that down a little bit. This split, this down the middle. I'm not going to fill it. It's not really going to benefit at all, because I'm going to be sanding it, so I'm not going to fill it. And everything else is all good so um, yeah I'm gonna get the wood filler on that I'll use Dixie Bell mud on that take the doors off take the draw pulls off and the hinges and then I'll be ready to start sanding tomorrow so I just mentioned it but I thought I'd show you as well so this is the wood filler that I'm currently using Sorry, I'm just on my phone, so it's a bit hard to open it. I haven't got the camera set up, you know, how organised I am. So there, I just wanted to show you, because it's, it's not like regular wood filler. It is literally looks like mud. So it's really easy to work with. So I'm just going to... So I'll overfill it a little bit so that there's room for me to sand it off without it dipping. What you sometimes find, same as when you fill draw hole, draw pull holes, that you need to run over it a couple of times. Um, but I'm not going to with this. This is a, this isn't really something that needed to do, and I just thought I would while I could. So whatever result we get from it is going to be better than it was originally so I'm happy with that 
Right, so that'll be dry in the morning, ready for me to sand. Okay. Another thing to take note of, as I'm taking this out, the, the screws that are going into the door are longer than the ones that go into the unit. So make note of that as well. And this is what I like to do. So I already know that the screws are longer in the door, but I look at it this way so I can see that this is the front because I can see the draw pull. And now I can see which way these fit. And that might seem like really simple to <laughs> some people, but honestly, every time I try and put hinges on, I sit there for ages trying to work it out. So this just helps me. Good morning, guys. It's Thursday morning. Um, I stripped this last night, as you would have seen. I, when I say strip, I mean taking the doors off and hardware and everything. Now it's time to sand. I've got my mask. I've got my 120 grit sandpaper. And my usual Bosch GEX 125 AVE Professional. Right, let's get stuck in and hope that this comes off as easily as the console table did. I'm not sure what this is here. It looks like it might be some sort of varnish bubbling or something. Anyway, let's see. Right, that came up really well. Um, it was a few areas that I needed to sort of tilt it in a little bit. Sorry, girls, go away. Um, just to get into some grooves, but otherwise it was good. So now I'm gonna do the sides. Now, because the sides are flat, I could just use my orbital, but it's pretty heavy. So I'm just gonna go in with my little sander and 80 grit. And hopefully this will come up nice and easily. Let's give it a go. that's come up really nicely it wasn't too bad so that's that rough sanded now if you remember I mentioned when I was inspecting these that I wanted to take the top of those down a little bit so I'm just going to do that make sure I got my right so if you look this one might be easier to look at it just sits a little bit higher on that ridge there and that's what would end up catching if I just painted straight over. So I just want to bring that down a bit to make it level. Right, top's all done, drawers are sanded. Now I need to prep this girl before we start painting. So, scuff sand using 120 grit. Literally, just this. That's that piece done. That's as much as you need to do. You're just taking the gloss off. So I'll do that all over. And you get a lot, a lot of crap off it, to be honest. So just doing that little bit does, does a lot. Um, then I will clean it. I have this pre-mixed in um, this Mr. Bottle. Uh, got the Mr. Bottle from Caprio. No, I got it from eBay, but I've noticed that Caprio Shabby Chic sell them. Probably cheaper than I bought them from eBay, which is a bit annoying. Um, but that is Dixie Belle White Lightning. So I, I pre-mix it into that and spray it. It's nice and easy. Again, I've got to be honest, I get most of my products now from Caprio Shabby Chic because they've got everything. It's like a one-stop shop. I love it. But this lasts forever. I've got about three pots of this now just in case it doesn't last forever, but it does last forever. So that's what I'll be using. Then, um wash it off with just plain water so there's not any residue left over. If you leave residue of this, it can create what they call a resist between the paint and the, the wood so it can stop it adhering. You don't want that. So you need to get any residue of this off. Then 
I am going to be right. So I'm using my sleek brushes again. Capriol Shabby Chic. Now sell these. This is the. They're both the 38 mil. Um, I just love these brushes. I can't remember how much they are. Ten bucks, something like that. They're really good quality. These are still wet, so they don't look like they're as soft as they are, but they're really soft. Um, and this is one that I chopped down. Um, I can, can't remember on which job, but if you watch previous video, which one was it? TV unit? Might have been the TV unit that I did in carbon. Um, so I just got a hacksaw and chopped that down so I can get into the um, difficult areas. So I don't bother buying shorty brushes specifically just because they've got a short handle. Just chop it off. Um, then I'm going to be going in with my Purico base blocker. Probably going to do two or three coats of that. That's what the others have needed. And then I'll be going in with the paint. So I'm not going to bore you with all this. If you want to see those, that process of the sanding and cleaning, just look at any of the other videos. It's, it's on there, but that's the product. So I literally just stuff sand with that. Get the blower to blow any sand off. So you're not going to be cleaning, um, wiping it into it, into the grain afterwards, the sand into the grain. Clean it with that, wipe it down with water. When it's dry, start painting. Right. Okay, let's get on with that. I'll come back once I've done all that. Right, time to get some blocker on this. So I'll just show you how much I've used. I thought I got a stirrer. Um, so it's up to about there. So that's how much it's taken me to do the um, console table and the mirror. So I would imagine that this will last me for this one as well. So it's done three pieces, that that um, 600 mil tub. I did have a stirrer here. Oh, of course I've lost it. So, um, yeah, I won't have you watch me do all this, but I just, so it's quite thick. It's just like regular paint. It's water-based. It's really nice. So, let's hope for two coats of this. I'm not hopeful. I did see a spot that is definitely going to bleed in there. But if it does, then I'm going to do um, what Ursula Jackson suggested in the comments. And that is to um, just apply some top coat to those areas, spot top coat to those areas and see if I can block it sooner. Um, I don't have any spray that she recommended, but I, I did order some from Capriol Shabby Chic last night. Um, it's actually a, um, an Australian brand, Nor Glass again, the same as the paint stripper. Sorry. We live by an airbase. Um, yeah, Nor Glass um, is Australian made and owned as well, so I'm going to give that a try. I don't know what is the prices were in comparison to the um, Rust-Oleum ones or whatever is it, Bunnings. But um, I'll give that a go. When, when I get it, I'll um, I'll do some sort of review on it so that we can have a look. I like to do that with any Aussie brands that I get my hands on. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go. So I'll put this first coat on now. See how we're going with bleeding. I'm getting quite good coverage actually using this brush. So again, this is the sleek 38 mil. They're both the 38 mil, even the one I chopped off too. Right, I'll come back to you when all the priming is done. If I have any areas in between that I need to do a spot coat to try and stop the bleed, then I'll come back and show you. Oh my God, I'm so happy right, right now. You would not believe. I've got full coverage with one coat and I've got no bleed through. One coat of primer. Oh, my day just got so much better. I don't know if it's the sleek brushes that made a difference. I don't know. I don't care. I just know that I've just cut out one or two coats. I'm a happy lady. I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee and celebrate. And then I come back. Imagine if it was only one coat of paint. That's not gonna happen. But imagine that. 
Oh, like a dream. Okay, I'll be back. So it's now, what's the time? 20 to 12, the same day as when I started. And I'm going in with my first coat of paint. So, as I have done on the other two pieces, because these are all matching for the same customer, um, I'm using Carts and Millie Daisy's Milk. Um, this is an all-in-one paint, but as I said before, it's got a matte finish. I prefer a satin finish, so I add a satin top coat to it. It's really lovely paint. So this has lasted, this is a one litre pot. Um, I'd say it's got about that much left in it. And I've done the um, console table and the mirror, which was quite a lot of coat. So I'll probably use about half of it, I'd say, so far. Right, let's see how we go. I'm going to use the um, sleep brush again because I was really happy with the um, coverage with it. With the, uh, oh God, come on, race words. With the blocker. So whether it's to do with the, the brush or not, I don't know, but. But I'm happy with that. Yeah. I reckon this could be a quicker one, guys. I reckon I'm going to be doing two coats of paint and then one coat just with the top coat. I'll be happy if that's the case. I mean, that's what I'd expect after after the primer, but I've only got one coat of primer, so. Right, leave me get stuck into this and I'll be back. sit on the floor in shorts and nothing. I just had an ant get up there. That hurts. Have you noticed though? I'm still sat on the floor in shorts. I need to start listening to, to my own advice. I really do. What else can I do to stop me painting white? Try to get it done. Look, it is happening. It just feels like it's taking forever. This part is doing my netting in there. Right. Right, we're getting there. I can see light at the end of the tunnel. So this is one coat of primer, three coats of paint, and I'm gonna do one more coat of paint with the top coat, mostly top coat. So that will be a total then of five coats. Better than the mirror was with seven. Still more than I would like to have to do, but you know, that's why. And if you want a good finish, then you have to do thin coats and lots of them. Um, it's a stinker here today. The procrastination is real, I can tell you. Flies are doing our netting, aren't they, Bailey? Harp is exhausted. We're going to go inside now for five girls. I'll be back. That's the painting done. I've never been so happy to have some painting finished. Um, next, we're going to do the top. I'm going to use um, Dixie Bell Tobacco Road again. Obviously, because it's all a matching set. Um, oh, I came close, so close to ditching this one today and finishing it up tomorrow. It's just, it's, I, I don't think it's just because of the light, it's just such a hot day, really, really hot. Sorry, it's really dark now. Um, anyway, actually, can you see my eyes? My husband so it says I go cross-eyed when I'm tired. Am I cross-eyed? Am I? <laughs> I sent him a photo already like that. He said, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, things I do to entertain myself and stop myself from painting. Anyway, okay, I'm gonna go in and take another breather and come out and we can get this done. 
smooth sanding time so i'm going in with my 240 grit and my bosch um so i'll smooth sand the top actually i'll do it all with this and oh, take that one off oh, here we go race is over tired snow blind call it whatever you will fed up a white i call it right so i'll smooth sand this and with the edges i'll do it with this around the edges because it's a really quick job um, and then we'll get the stain on right i've smooth sanded the top with the 240 grit and around the sides painting is all done doors need one more coat and then they'll be going back on now i just need to stain it so i'm using the same one as i did on the other piece because it's a matching set so i'm going with the Dixie Bell gel stain and tobacco road and I will be using the Dixie Bell gator hide sponge applicator afterwards I'll be putting on the um, Carter Millie top coat that I've used within the paint as well but I'm not going to show that because I need to get all the pieces together and I'm not going to put a final top coat on them until I know that all the stain is matching so I'll take photos of it without the top coat on, but just know that before it goes back to the customer, that's what I'll be doing. Okay, so when you see this next, it will be staged. I will be drinking something other than water and I'll be taking a big, taking a big sigh of relief. Um, if you like this channel, please, please subscribe and like the video. It just gives me an indication of the videos that you like or don't like or if you want me to do more of the same type i'd really appreciate that okay thanks for sticking with me guys on this stinking hot white horrid day i hope you enjoyed it more than i did